in. I'm about to get fucking arrested. My mom texted me and was like, if you drive in this car, you're going to jail. People take this shit seriously. You're going to go to jail. You're going to become a fucking drug addict. And I'm still going to like your fucking cocaine head ass sister more than you. Which is fine. It's fine. I love crackheads. I fucking love cocaine addicts who fuck up your life and you still like them more than you like me. It's so fine. So I've been crying a little bit, just a little bit. Just, just, just a tad bit. Because who the fuck does that, bro? And like, I feel like I should be in New York right now and it just got taken away from me and I had no control over it. And now I'm just like, like harp, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, that's all. It's like, I don't know if I'm what to do at all. I'm struggling so fucking much right now. Ow! Holy shit. Good morning. Anyway. Hi guys, I am here sitting in the church parking lot about to eat some chicken. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit right now. I look scary. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about my life uh, right now and like what I'm dealing with when it goes through this and like right now I'm about to eat dinner in a car by myself and I like am so lonely. Like. I'm so heartbroken, <laughs> I'm so sad, I'm so lonely, and it's constant, I can't go anywhere, because I feel so anxious, like, my anxiety is insane, and I don't know what I'm anxious about, I'm just constantly, like, anxious, like, I can't be around people, I don't want to be around people, I'm sitting here about to eat and watch YouTube and go to a house that's not mine, like, I'm trying to move into an apartment, that's not working out. I'm trying to do a bunch of things and my life just isn't working out and I'm at this point where like what now like what's gonna go wrong now like I'm excited so excited to find out what's gonna go wrong next and I'm like just sitting here and it just sucks like it really sucks and I'm just trying to figure out life and it's so hard dude it's so fucking hard but we're gonna try to figure it out and what if I was bald? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> so I'm driving right now. Um, let me roll my window. And I want to tell everyone what just happened. I am so sorry my face looks like this. I literally look disgusting. Um, basically, I'm driving right now in a legal car. And you're like, Grace, what the fuck? Well, my mom saw my last face, or my YouTube video, and... She came by my work and took my license plates off my car and texted me. I went to go text Adam's mom because Adam's mom's my mom and the only mother figure in my life. So I went to go text her and like was just talking to her about um, tonight or something. She was out camping so we were just kind of talking about that and I went to go text her back because we just had a rush at work and <laughs> I get a text from Margie and it says, Hi, your license plates are now off your car. Figure it out yourself. Get a fucking registration and I can't! Uh, oh my god! I'm so mad. I literally don't know what to do. I'm 17 years old. I can't fucking register a car. I'm literally 17 years old! I'm a mess. But, um, it's fine. I'm fine. I fucking hate my life. <sighs> and my life was so good. Like, we were working at the apartment. I just got a $400 paycheck. We are fucking thriving! Except for, we're gonna have to delay the apartment. You know why? Because I can't fucking afford a $250 deposit when I have to register my car. I have to do stuff for beauty school. I have to do all this shit by myself because this bitch won't fucking do shit for me. I can't believe I came out of your womb. I want to do a different room. I call the fucking, can I take it back? I need a different mother.
I already have a different mother, but I'm getting followed by one of my coworkers. That's why. Um, I called her. She had just gotten off. Oh fuck. I'm gonna just wait for this car because I want her to be able to follow me. Um. So I called her and I was like, "Girl, here's the situation." I'm about to get fucking arrested. My mom texted me and was like, if you drive in this car, you're going to jail. People take this shit seriously. You're going to go to jail. You're going to become a fucking drug addict. And I'm still going to like your fucking cocaine head ass sister more than you. Which is fine. It's fine. I love crackheads. I fucking love cocaine addicts who fuck up your life. And you still like them more than you like me. It's so fine. So I've been crying a little bit. Just a little bit. Just just, just a tad bit. Because. Who the fuck does that, bro? I literally saw her. I literally saw them driving by the cactus so many times. And I was like, something's going down. And then there's this green jeep and i always park next to it and it's identical to my dude fucking identical oh my god they should have taken off the wrong one that would have been so funny anyway um it's a green jeep cherokee fucking identical to mine top handles everything identical to mine um well with that being said i saw it driving by the cactus and i was like oh fuck oh fuck oh fuck that's my fucking car turns out it's not my car a little bit exaggerating but That's my gaslight. Good thing I don't have to get gas. You know why? Because I don't have a fucking car. I love my life. Dunna. Dunna, na, 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 na. Oh, shit. I need to text out of the mom and tell her I'm parking outside of her car. Her house. All right. Bye. Hi, Gainsy. So, yesterday was the day that my parents took my car. Um, right now... Holy shit, guys. The amount of... Wow, I cannot see. The amount of support that I have gotten is fucking insane. Right now, I'm driving Adam's car um, just for today. And then, one of my parents... What the fuck? Oh, I'm turning. Sorry. Sorry, peasants. Oh, please hit you. Fuck, I don't know how to drive, guys. Oh, God. I almost hit those people. Mm, that would have been awkward. <laughs> I hope nobody sees this. Um, so, I have this friend, and I have a mom, she has a mom, and her mom was like, hey, let's meet up, I'm really worried about you, and I was like, what, me, worried why I'm fine? Anyway, we're getting lunch today. We're getting dinner. Good God, good fucking morning, oh my God. Okay, jeez, holy shit, one second. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I am literally an emotional wreck and I think I'm about to start crying, but I don't know. Like, I don't know. <laughs> so I have a friend, I have a mom, she texted me and we're gonna get dinner tonight and she was like, I was like, hey, I'm gonna have somebody drop me off at the house and she was like, okay, yeah, that works. Why? And I told her about the car and she said, hold on one second, texted her husband and she's letting me drive her car for the next week, guys. How nice. Literally for a week, she's letting me drive her car. Um, not like a, maybe a week, maybe more, maybe less, just depending. There's police lights, there's sirens. Depending on, oof, swerving on when I'm gonna be able to. So tomorrow, DMV. Um, today I'm going to the leasing office, so I'm gonna go. Erin's gonna co-sign for me. Erin's gonna help me out with everything because I literally love that woman's death. So we're going to the leasing department today before I work, and then I'm going to go to the DMV tomorrow. We're getting a new license, a driver's license, because my parents stole it from me. So it's like 12 bucks, I think maybe um and then we're gonna go we're gonna get car insurance we're gonna get temporary plates we're gonna do all the fun shit that you need to do in order so then this car will be literally my car um that was a bad idea anyway um it's gonna be my car 
my parents co-signed it to me for some fucking reason. I don't know why the fuck they think it's okay to, like... It was just weird. It's just weird that they, like, signed it over to me. Holy fuck, these brakes are so smooth. Uh, what the fuck? My car, I have to, like, literally, like, slam down as hard as I can. So, my parents co-signed me the car. Well, not co-signed. They signed the car over to me, so it's my car now. Um, they said that I bought it for a dollar, so that's kind of cool. Um... We love a bargain. We love a sister. Like, bargain. Saving sister. So, they did that for me. What am I talking about? Okay, let me restart the story. Let me restart it. So, my parents. They came. They took my license plates. But, they signed the car over to me. So, the car is now in my name. So, they can't report it as a stolen vehicle. They can't do any of the shit that they were going to do for it. Um, so that's really awesome, and I'm really excited about that, but, um, so it's my car, so I literally just have to get insurance, we're gonna get the minimal insurance, so it's not gonna be insurance for my car, because it's an old car, it's gonna be insurance for if I hit someone else, um, we'll do that, we'll get all that shit covered, it's gonna be awesome, I'm so excited to have my own car.